Good eye. This is unboxing of the CTC double extruder 3D printer. I already cut some tape, but it's uh, other than that, it's unpacked. All right. So I bought it off of eBay. Uh, okay. I have to figure now how to pull this stuff out actually. I, I lifted it out and I'm back. Look at that. It's a 3D printer. And also there's a screw in the box here, right here. I hope this doesn't mean... Aha! And there's also a nut. Look at that. A nut and a screw in the box. I hope that's not a bad omen. Checking for other screws and bolts. No. Ah, and there's a washer. Look at that. This appears to have fallen off somewhere. From somewhere. Ah, and other than that, there's nothing here. But the edges are taped, so hopes are high that nothing has fallen out. And also, of course, the classic Chinese warning labels. Let's see if we can zoom in. Caution to the heating board. Don't leave the children with the machine. Great quality, high success. Braces removed. What is that? Rather loose, I would say. This is a limit switch, obviously. We'll see if we can tighten that baby up. Aha, uh -huh, look at that. So it's rather loose, the whole thing. And look at this here. There is an, obviously a piece missing from here. I bet that's the one I found. So the label says, switch the red button on the back when working in 150 volts mains, or 15 volts. So, I don't know, does this mean this red button? What red button? We'll see about that. We open the magic box and we see inside a curious rod. Rod. Oh, look at that. Aha, uh -huh. this must be the support for the filament. Okay, what else do we have? Some USB cables and lots of screws and nuts and bolts and some hex wrenches. Also, a SD memory card of 4 gigabytes, And some braces. Just shit. Aha. And this must be the extruder set. Nice. I don't read German. So, I got out one of these uh, cassettes, right? And is it the 3D filament? No. So, how about that? Yeah, a roll of filament indeed, PLA, nice, that's a lot of junk, but here's the printer, tightening of the bolts and nuts, and other than that, let's see if I get it running, and how easy it will be to get it running, like that, maybe there's a reason that they're, they are loose, but I doubt it really. Uh, oh, look at that. They're everywhere. Loose bolts. That's interesting. The whole LCD thing is loose. Right. Some major tightening is ahead. So I took this plastic off this corner here and I found a totally loose nut. Actually, the nut fell off into the basin here. So watch out when you unpack this uh, printer because, well, I don't know, maybe this is an exception, but uh, extraordinarily many loose nuts here. Also, a look under the hood. It's on its side, the printer. Looks rather decent. So here we are about 30 minutes later. I've tightened every single screw and just about every single screw was loose. 
but it's tight now and I'm opening the extruder set. I think I figured out what these pieces are for. Uh, they are for sitting, for placing them under the corners. So I pulled out all of the mm, hardware from the bag for the printer and it's interesting to note in which bag it, it's in an ink cartridge bag caution so this is ink nevertheless there's also a backup fuse very neat okay so when looking at this extruder I can't possibly figure out where to put so many screws because if you I mean look here there are one two holes here there are one and two holes here so it's just uh, it's it's a bit interesting where the hell should I put that many screws but maybe they have um, these just really are backups I will simply put the extruder in place with two bolts the hot plate the adjustment seems to be rather easy with uh, these butterfly nuts, or I don't know how you call them, but it's rather straightforward. On my solid doodle tube, they were just nuts which you had to tighten, but I also I found loose stuff down here, so really go over all of it. Well, I definitely seem to be missing from the package these tubes uh, in which the filament is supposed to run. I actually found a switch that switches between 110 and 220 volt mains and it's neatly hidden on the side of the power supply. So this is the front panel and this is the switch here and on the left side uh, relative to the front panel is the 220 volt uh, setting and on the right side is the 110 volt mine came already preset in the 220 volt so watch out for that so I just uh, skipped a few steps I was really frustrated with getting it working but in the end it turns out all you need to do to get it running really and level the printing plate it has uh, an automatic uh, regime for that. You use these knobs down here to uh, regulate the, how the plate is positioned relative to the extruder. And uh, then you just uh, press uh, print from SD card and that's it. And they're, they're, it's full of Chinese weird files. Uh, some of them are meant for 20 millimeter filament, some of them are meant for who knows what. But um, only one of them actually prints with this machine, and it's this thing here. I don't know what it is, but um, this is the raft, and uh, the print looks like this off the shelf. I did not configure the machine any in any other way. I just I just leveled the t support table. I inserted the SD card, and I said print from file this but the problem was that uh, the uh, the table was too cold and uh, uh, it can it can't finish this print because it comes loose it doesn't adhere to the table so I spent a lot of time looking for some software for that could, could run on my Ubuntu my Linux I tried some things but uh, it, 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 it really it's gonna take more time so I just uh, installed the maker makerware 2. Point whatever uh, from the SD card which is here uh, just here and uh, I installed it on my Windows system and it actually worked rather well I mean I could upload my SD file SDL file and configure it per specs of this machine and I saved it to the SD card the Yoda which is printing here uh, and it's printing and it's printing actually a rather good quality Yoda on a massive raft uh, 
and well without supports I mean without adjusting any settings and the lightning the lighting here is not very good obviously but uh, I hope you can see that it's not all too bad so here's a quick look at uh, a few prints I have uh, done just straight out the box this is just a pencil or a pen pencil holder yeah for holding pencils uh, a SolidWorks loft uh, in any case what you can see here is the walls are sort of apart you, you, yeah, you see that motion so I tried another type of PLA and the results are amazing this is a as you see I mean it's a box that I printed for my lockpicks look at that and they sit right here and it printed excellent no warping it's perfectly flat on all sides and this is without any modifications to the machine and I printed this at uh, 230 degrees uh, filament and uh, and 70 degrees Celsius bed so this CTC printer is definitely worth the $350 I paid for it on eBay uh, it has its mechanical issues it ships in with loose nuts uh, but uh, it definitely prints straight out of the box with a bit of uh, I don't know a couple of hours of setup time and figuring it all out so I'd say yes, buy it if you can.